Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianne and this is Diary of a Homemaker. Here we share a lot of homemaking things, so homemaking, thrifting, a lot of cooking from scratch, and a lot of in-between things. So today we are going to be doing some freezer cooking. School is almost back in session, which is absolutely wild and this is just going to make our lives so much easier. We can just pull one of these out one or two days ahead of time and let it thaw in the fridge and then we can throw it on the grill and make whatever we want out of it. So today we're going to be doing a barbecue rib. We're going to be doing I think two of those and then maybe three. I haven't decided yet. Two or three of the ribs and then I have some pork chops. So we're going to be doing just a really great marinade for pork chops. And then we're also going to be doing a cilantro lime chicken. This is our absolute favorite way to cook chicken. We make tacos, we do enchiladas, we do all kinds of uh, Mexican dishes with this base recipe, which is really great. Um, the kids love it. We love it. It just is a really good thing. So I think I have enough ingredients to do 10 meals, which we won't eat every single day. So when we do our freezer meals like this, this isn't something that is meant to be cooked every single day. This is something that we can just very easily pull out one or two days ahead of time and dinner is already done. I don't really have to think about what to make. Um, we can just pull out a couple of sides as well as this and then dinner is taken care of. So um, between this and then the already made meals that we have in our freezer as well as me cooking on a daily basis this is really going to stretch for a little while so like i said i think we have enough to do about 10 meals and we're just going to get started so i did go ahead and do a little bit of prep i have all of the meat just put in a big bowl or all of the pork i should say so all the pork is already in a bowl and then i just need to um, start adding the ingredients to the bag so we do our marinated meats just in freezer safe gallon Ziplocs. Um, I have done marinated meat with both fresh meat as well as frozen meat. So when I first started doing freezer meals, I thought you always had to have fresh meat and chicken especially um, is just more expensive whenever you buy fresh chicken breast or fresh chicken. I actually am going to be using some pre-frozen chicken breast. I'm just going to be making the marinade and then putting it in the bag and then adding the chicken breast. Whenever you thaw the, the bag, that chicken's going to thaw anyways. So it's going to thaw all together and we haven't had any kind of problems with doing it that way. The chicken is always super flavorful and it just is a way to save a little bit of money versus buying fresh chicken because fresh chicken does tend to be a little bit more expensive than frozen chicken breasts. So I am gonna go ahead and pull you in a little bit closer and we're gonna get started. I am gonna go ahead and open up all of my bags and then start adding the ingredients and then at the end, we'll go ahead and add the meat. Um, like I said, I think we have enough to do 10 meals. So the first, I think I am gonna do barbecue, um, barbecue ribs. So I think the first three recipes are gonna be super simple. All I'm doing is using this Portland barbecue sauce and I'm just going to pour probably half the bottle into each bag. I actually have one in the fridge that I need to use up. So I am going to go grab that. That way we make sure that we're using the oldest first and then I'm going to just add the ribs to here and then we'll have three, three meals already done in like five minutes.
and then this other one is just a uh, chop this You could wash and chop the cilantro. I dropped a little bit of the barbecue sauce in the bathroom. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Okay, so the barbecue ribs are all done. Um, I think a lot of times it's easy to complicate things whenever it literally could be as easy as adding barbecue sauce to ribs and then now you have meals for the future. So those are done and I am gonna go ahead and get started on these chops. Um, we're gonna be doing four recipes or four, four bags of this. It's all the same recipe. Um, it's just an all, all around basic pork marinade. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the chops in here and then that way it'll hold the bag up for me. I do find that setting up my bags in an assembly line style um, and having all of my ingredients laid out ahead of time really does make things more efficient. I really love working smarter, not harder, and this right here just makes my life so much easier. I have all of the ingredients lined up and ready to go. My measuring spoons are ready to go, and I can add whatever I need to each bag. I will link all of these recipes below. These are not my own recipes. These are recipes that I have found and these are recipes that I turn to. Um, I know my family will enjoy and it's just a great thing to have recipes that you can just go to that you know that your family is gonna eat. The recipe did call for Dijon mustard, but I like to keep things simple and I had mustard on hand, so that's what I decided to use.
you really do want to make sure that you're trying to get as much air out as possible this is just going to lengthen the t amount of time that it can be stored in the freezer oxygen is not your friend whenever it comes to food preservation so making sure that you have as much pushed out as you can really is key you're also going to want to make sure that you're really massaging your marinade into your meat and that way it's freezing completely coated if that makes sense meals these are all the same um, but already that's seven meals and that took me maybe 25 minutes so that's done and then the last one I want to do is cilantro lime chicken and like I said this is our favorite favorite way to cook chicken um, I am using frozen chicken breast for this so I'm gonna go ahead and grab three bags and then we're gonna do the marinade and then I'll bring in some frozen chicken from our deep freeze and then we'll add the chicken and then put that back in the freezer. I do just wanna take a moment to talk about ingredients for a second and the importance of having ingredients. So for instance, if you buy taco seasoning at the store, you basically have no choice but to make tacos out of that taco seasoning. If you have ingredients such as cumin, oregano, salt, pepper, um, paprika, if you have those on hand, you can make tacos, you can make a million other things versus just being restricted to having tacos. We do order most of our seasonings from Azure Standard. Um, they just seem to have the best price for the best quality. However, we do purchase some of our other things from Costco, such as olive oil um, and things like that. I do have a few Azure hauls on my channel if you'd like to see some of the items that we do purchase from them on a regular basis. I honestly cannot sing enough praises about Azure. I love them. I love what they are about and I love supporting them and that my money is going to them versus a giant big box store. If you are interested in trying out Azure, I will be sure to add my Azure affiliate link in the description box below. I love Azure because it, there is no subscription fee. There is no membership fee. You can place orders whenever you want and you make it work for your schedule. So if you don't want to order every month, you don't have to. If you want to order once a year, you can order once a year. So I do encourage checking it out. It is just a great company. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description below.
Once you have all of your meats in the bags and the recipes finished, you're gonna wanna go ahead and label your bags. I promise you, you do want to do this. I know I'm guilty of thinking and telling myself, I'm gonna remember what this bag is, but things get put in the freezer, things get moved around, things look like other things after they're frozen, and sometimes I can't keep track. So for me, it is so important to make sure that I'm labeling my bags, and I do recommend that you do that also. I also want to just mention that it's important to be putting meals in your freezer that you know that your family enjoys so if your family doesn't necessarily like pork chops it's probably not something that you're going to want to make and keep in your freezer if your family doesn't like cilantro it probably isn't a recipe that you're going to want to keep in your freezer I remember when I first got it, got started with making freezer meals many years ago, I made all these meals because a recipe told me that these were good meals, even though I knew that I didn't like some of the ingredients in the recipes, but I went ahead and made them also. And you can probably guess that none of those meals got eaten and it was a complete, complete waste of time and also of money. So please make sure that you're putting meals in your freezer that you know that you're gonna like. It is just a waste if you are taking time out of your day to make these things when you know that your family isn't gonna eat them. So I did just wanna mention that because I know I was so guilty of that whenever I got started and I would hate for you to use your precious time making something that you know that you won't necessarily enjoy. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Um, I'd love for you to consider liking or commenting just because my channel is so small and we are just getting going. It really helps push my videos to like-minded people. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I have been loving sharing how we cook and we have so many more recipes that I want to share with you. So until next time, bye.